For thousands of years, our people have walked. We walked to hunt food and to find water. We walked to carry messages from village to village and to find new territories. We walked to live. Today, that tradition of walking continues for different reasons. We walk to school, we walk to the store, or to visit our friends. But now we face a very different environment from the one in which we traditionally walked. There are many more risks facing pedestrians. That environment is what we're here to talk about today. Hi, I'm Kelsey Fallingleaf, and I'm here to help you learn to be a safe walker. kids, walking is a common way of getting to and from school. It's also a great way to get some exercise. But some of us live in areas where walking can be a little scary because the only place to walk is right beside heavy traffic or speeding cars. When that's the case, we need to be careful, keep our eyes wide open, and be responsible. Look and listen. Many schools have crossing guards and other adults to help us get where we need to go. But some of us live where we can't take advantage of the crossing guards. When that's the case, we have to be extra watchful and extra careful. All right, kids, let's go. Have a good day, okay? Bye. If you do walk along the roadside, be familiar with your route. Knowing your route is very important. That way you can concentrate on being safe and make sure you let an adult know if there's something unusual about your route. <laughs> Listening to music on headphones makes it tough to hear approaching vehicles. That can lead to deadly mistakes. Keep those put away until you're safely home. Be aware of your surroundings. Cars and trucks move fast, so make sure and keep your eyes and ears open at all times and be mindful of blind spots in the road. Curves, signs, or even trees can block a driver's view. One of the most important things to remember is to always walk facing the traffic. That way you can see what's coming and you'll be able to take action more quickly if you see a car that is coming too close to you. And keep as far to the side as possible. When walking with friends or brothers and sisters, walk single file when a car is coming. Never rough house or play games with oncoming traffic. It's not a fair match. They're bigger than you are, and they'll win every time. Now, that doesn't mean you have to be in the trees, of course, but just off the road. Be seen. It helps to wear bright, colorful clothes so you're as noticeable as possible. And try to make eye contact with the drivers before crossing a road. You can help them become more aware of people walking. Remember, just because you can see them doesn't mean they can see you. Try to avoid walking at night or in the evening dusk if you can. The majority of accidents happen when it's dark outside. It's tough for drivers to see you during the daytime and almost impossible in the dark. At night, it's even more important to wear bright clothes and reflective materials so drivers can see you more easily from farther away. Another good way to be seen is to use flashlights and glow sticks. The more visible you are to drivers, the safer you will be. Stay out of the road! Walking with a partner is always a good idea. You can help remind each other to cross at crosswalks and intersections. When you cross the street, make sure you look left, then right, and then left again, even when traffic is stopped. Never stop looking until you have safely crossed the road. Lots of times, bridges are narrower than roads. There's nowhere to go. So make extra sure no cars are coming before you start across a narrow bridge. Watch out for little kids. Always keep an eye out for the younger kids in the group. They look up to you and maybe even imitate you from time to time. Remember, if you practice unsafe behavior, they will too. So make sure you're a good role model for them. 
Remember what we said about personal responsibility? You're responsible for your own safety. You have to keep an eye out for drivers who can't see you or may not be paying attention. Cars going too fast have very little time to react, and older drivers in particular may need more time to respond to the road around them. Weather conditions such as rain, snow, or even sun in a driver's eyes can make it hard for them to react quickly. Help them keep you safe by being aware and staying out of their way. And remember, when you're riding in a car, the back seat is the safest place to be and always, always buckle up for safety. Get on the bus! If you ride the school bus, you still have to practice safe walking to and from the bus stop. Make sure you get there about five minutes early and wait for the bus away from the roadside. Don't even start across until the bus is completely stopped. Wait until all the cars and trucks have stopped as well. Always look both ways before crossing the street. Never run into the street. That's a definite danger zone. And if you drop something, make sure the bus driver gives you the go-ahead before you reach down to pick it up. And remember, taking the bus is usually the safest, most reliable way to get to school. All right, girls, come on. Be safe. All in all, your parents and other adults would like to be there to help protect you and keep you safe. But we can't be there all the time. In the end, it's your responsibility to make your own choices and not give in to peer pressure and let it make you do things you know you shouldn't. You're responsible for your own safety. You older kids, look after your younger brothers and sisters. And younger ones, follow them and let them teach you the rules of the road. So what's the word? Be seen. Face traffic. Look and listen. Be aware. Buddy up. Know your way. Take the bus. Help the little kids. Be safe. So remember, be aware and be ready to react. Safety doesn't happen by accident. Thanks for watching.